How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. I have some gameplay to show you today of the new Donut Media Horizon story which has very recently been revealed. I do have another video on the channel today which showcases the full update from start to finish, what's in the update, what isn't in the update, make sure to check that out if you haven't already. This Horizon story has five chapters and we know that by looking at the accolades we can see there are five of them. I have four videos to show you today, two of them are cinematics and two of them are gameplay. We're going to get to see stuff like the characters from Donut Media, we're going to get to see the Donut Media test track, we're going to get to see how you upgrade and tune the cars within the story and some of the challenges as well. So we're going to go over it all. I'm not going to talk over the gameplay just so you can hear the dialogue, you can hear the voiceovers, hear what they're talking about and hey, how it all works. So it's sort of just raw gameplay. Now I do have to remind you, we were all expecting to be able to drive the Donut Media cars in this update. Well, it turns out this update, the Donut Media thing, is gonna be in two updates. This is the first one. The second one is probably not gonna be for a good couple of months. And it is unfortunately in the second one where we're going to get to drive all of the Donut Media cars. So in this video, we're gonna have a look at what exactly we get in this update this donut media. So the first video that we're going to see is the first cinematic from the first chapter, Horizon Meet Donut. Hey man, stop trying to fight everyone. Just ask them if they want to race. Yeah, I'll pass. I left my Centenario in my other pants. Oh, look at me, I'm Nolan. I got Centenario pants. James? Nolan? I thought it was you two. Welcome to Mexico. Hey, nice to meet you. Yeah, great to meet you in the flesh. Wow. I've seen you jump cars out of planes and that thing in the sky. How does it even stay up there? Calm down, fanboy. <laughs> you know Horizon. Haley didn't tell me you were coming down. Yeah, we heard the festival was here, so we brought the whole crew down for the weekend. J. Crew. And Norm. <laughs> I'll look for them around the festival. Nice car, though. This yours, James? Yeah, it's mine. Sweet little personal ride with some, uh personal modifications. This is usually where someone has me the keys. Just be careful with it. I've seen you drive, too. You know what? I think I'm just gonna go with you. <laughs> Fanboy. There we go. We can see the two Donut Media guys there, James and Nolan. What we have up next is a second cinematic from the first chapter, and then we'll come on to the gameplay of the test track after that. What? am I looking at? This is the uh, Hyper Vocho? Alejandro says it'll do over 200 miles per hour. I'm not sure how that's even possible. <laughs> Alejandro built it. That's how. Should we take it for a spin? Don't look at me, man. You're the one who gets paid to be a passenger. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. So those were the cinematics from chapter one. We can presume there's probably gameplay within chapter one, but I don't unfortunately have that. What I do have gameplay of is chapter two, which is where the test track and the upgrading is. So this is chapter two. Right, first step is we gotta choose a donor car. What do we got, Nolan? Got a couple of options. Which do we wanna work on? Remember, if you wanna work on a different car later, come back here and pick it from this. We can see that we get a selection of three cars. I mentioned that in my video earlier. It's very unfortunate that we can only do this second chapter in three cars. However, as you heard, the voiceover does say that we can go back to this story whenever we want and choose a different car. 77 Firebird, the blocker car. I swear, I love that car. So, uh, what are we thinking? You know what a car like that is bad at? Rallying. So, let's fix that. <laughs> Tall order, but I'm here for it. Just hit the button. Now I'm going to pause it right here. This is the Donut Media test track. Now straight away, I know a lot of people are going to be disappointed in this because the words test track sound pretty cool. And it turns out the Donut Media test track is just the basic Horizon Festival track with a few extra barriers and logos everywhere, which is fair enough. I didn't really expect much more from Playground Games, as harsh as that sounds, but I know a lot of people are going to be disappointed that the, the test track, the Donut Media test track, is just 
already on the map. You know what I'm saying? So this is the test track where you are going to test your car after you upgrade it within the story. Now I'm going to roll the rest of it now. To bring up the upgrade menu at any time. <laughs> We're going to swap the entire drivetrain. All wheel drive is what we need to make a rally beast out of this. Check conversions for that. Done and done. Don't worry about the cost of upgrades just now. James will get that. What? Fine. We're gonna need proper suspension if we're gonna take this thing off-road. Rally suspension is what we need. That's in platform and handling. Neat job. Next. The last piece of this puzzle is tires and wheels. You need a specific tire for this. Look in tire compound for the rally tire compound. Looking good. That should do it for the first pass. All right, take it around the test track. So this is the Horizon test track. Looks like there's routes for asphalt, mixed surface, and even off-road all signposted up. Nice. Is this new? Yeah, pretty new. I can't wait to bring all my other cars here. So as you can see, after you pick your car, it then prompts you to upgrade your car to suit the challenge ahead. Now, it does pretty much tell you what to pick as upgrades. It basically tells you to pick the tires and stuff like that, which is a bit weird. Um, but you can pick whatever upgrades you want. You can make it quicker, or slower, whatever you like. And then you take your then upgraded car to the challenge that is the next chapter of the story. So that's the general basis of it. We're not exactly sure what chapter four or five is going to be. Maybe you get to upgrade your car again for a different challenge. But that seems to be the basic sort of rules of it. Free performance, but don't tell anyone that. As you shorten final drive, you increase acceleration. Lengthen it to increase top speed to the car's maximum. Watch the graph to see your changes. Adjust final drive until the final gear tops out at maximum speed. So, make white line touch far side graph. Got it. When you're done, head over to the exit from this test track and we'll go see what this thing can do. Well, it used to be a Firebird, now it's a rally car. What's next? Seems to me there's only one option as to what we do now. And that is go smash some speed targets. Unfortunately, the gameplay I have it doesn't show much of the test track, but we can see that it is the festival. Um, what we have up next is gameplay of the third chapter, which is called HRS PRS. Now, this is, I believe, one of the challenges you have to do in the car that you just upgraded. It is seems to be a speed zone challenge on a dirt track. So I'm going to let that roll now. I've hooked up some computer bits to the car. I need you to drive it as fast as possible along the entire route. Are you ready to put this Firebird to the test? Let's do this! <laughs> oh boy. This is a car with very little respect for the law. We've got a 6.6-liter .6 engine that will make an astonishing 200. And with that much displacement, you can do bad, bad things, right? It never got its chance to shine in the 70s, but we fixed that today. Telemetry is good. Keep going. Another set of corners ahead. Looking good. So that is what we can see about the Horizon story so far. You get to upgrade your chosen car to your liking, do certain challenges. As I said, chapter four and five, maybe different challenges we are yet to see. It's a shame we're not getting the Donut Media cars this specific update. But nevertheless, 
I can't really form a full opinion on this update just yet because I've not played the rest of the story, but so far from what I can see, the test track is a little bit disappointing from what we were expecting, but the upgrading's kinda cool. I'm so excited to see where it goes. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Make sure to leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more content just like this, and I'll see you all later. Bye.